Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nathan back once again with uh, another ramble, another update, whatever you want to call it. And um, I guess the topic of this video is going to be kind of the Walmart and Target earnings that have been coming out over the past couple of weeks here. And um, it's kind of been kind of reflecting on some of the things that I've discussed um, in my own local economies in the past as far as um, a, a weak consumer and uh, the, the possibility of deflation in some of the other items that are kind of outside of the big three I've talked about as far as um, housing, food, and energy. Out of those big three, obviously, which have still been going up relatively consistently, albeit slowed down, obviously, from 2021 and things like that. But, yeah, the earnings have been, have at least with Target, they've been pretty bad for the most part. I mean, they've seen revenue gone down and their their profit kind of missed expectations as well. And um, some of the management thoughts on what's going on is really similar to what I'm saying. I mean, the consumer is cutting back right now. The, the retail industry in general is starting to see more and more competition as the consumer has less discretionary money to spend on things. People are thinking a lot more about where and who they spend their money with and on. And that'll obviously um, have an effect. And they're both of themselves, Target, Walmart, they're both lowering the prices on a, thousands of items, essentially. I'll be it. Most of them are going to be what I've talked about outside outside of the big three. They're all going to be the other discretionary items that they have to compete for now. I mean, both Walmart and Target, they don't make a lot of money on the, the grocery side of the business. So I'm, I mean, they will they might keep might break even or might make a small profit on some of these grocery and food items um, just to get people in the doors. I mean, that's a common retail strategy now where you have things where you have super low prices on some things to get people in the door and then you make um, a higher margin on some of the other products that you might sell. Uh, maybe it's the big ticket items, maybe it's like a TV off the top of my head, um, Target mentioned some stuff in, as far as summer items as like coolers, pool noodles, things like that, you know, for the summer that are going to be cheaper than they were last year. Those are just some of the things that you're seeing, um, you know, margin compression on some of these items at. And um, it's not surprising to me, obviously, if you listen to the stuff I've said in the past as far as um, the consumer is getting more and more picky because the consumer has less and less to spend. So... It's not free reign like it was in 2020, 2021, where you have stimulus checks, you have unemployment, mat paying more than what your job would pay. I mean, you have to think really hard because wages have not kept up with inflation as far as the past couple of years. And then the job market slowed as well as far as, as the amount of jobs being hired. As far as hiring goes, um, the employment rate is still very strong. Right now, obviously, that's all you hear about in the economy as far as all these articles that you'll see. But as far as the amount of people being hired, as far as the amount of um, the amount of full-time workers continues to go down, the hours worked for people also continues to trend down. So, yes, I'd say employers are are hoarding more employees and they're not willing to fire their these employees just yet, but. The hours have continued to go down as far as the hours worked, um, which means people's incomes have, have also been going down as well. The less hours you worked, obviously, the less hours you're going to make. So the, the competition for income just gets, continues to heat up, and I think it'll continue to do that for the time being. Um, obviously, with high interest rates, I talked in the past about the high interest credit cards. I mean, that's 20 to 30% right now that people are paying. And um, as far as the credit card balances go, they continue to go higher and higher. They're not, they're not getting lower at this point. And um, I don't see with housing, with food, with energy being so expensive, it's hard to imagine a world right now where that will go down, um, especially since, like I just mentioned, um, the, I mean, the incomes of people haven't kept up. And then also you're starting to see now where hours worked, the, the hours that people are able to get and are working is continuing to go down. So 
it's a tough environment that was kind of the, uh, expressed in the earnings calls of, of both the retailers. I'd say Walmart's probably doing a little bit better. You know, obviously Target in the past, they've started closing stores in specific areas and things like that, and that greatly affected their stock price. But, um, you know, Walmart sales are up a little bit. I mean, Walmart sales are probably up 3 to 4%, and where, where Target is down, probably 3 to 4% compared to last year as far as the revenue they're coming in but um it's an increasing competition in the retail space you know you're trying to compete for the consumer has a limited the limit consumer's budget is getting smaller and smaller and smaller for things that they can spend outside of food energy and housing so the competition is heating up you know, in that industry, in the restaurant industry as well, where you have food prices going sky high. I mean, who's, people aren't eating out as much. I mean, all these habits and really just kind of the service sector in general. Um, I mean, they're, com they have to compete more and more while their prices, their costs are getting higher and higher. And that's um, a tough place to be in. I I've seen that around in my area I don't think it's any different through the rest of the economy um, I mean I think it's only uh, a matter of time where you might have to see layoffs especially because of how big of a service economy we are I mean we're a service economy we don't produce a ton of a ton of goods in general and now if you have um, like I was saying the budgets getting smaller and smaller I mean more and more has to go to food energy and housing and um, I mean you're competing for a smaller and smaller pool of money and for all the other things for the services for the entertainment all these things and that's most of our economy here in the US it's the entertainment it's the service the food industry it's um you've already probably heard about all these tech layoffs as far as the software goes so you know we've seen that and it's just a matter I think it's a matter of time before you really see the consumer tap out and you have to see layoffs and things like that because you know hours are continuing to trend down and down it's only the, I mean the real question is just when when does a business owner when does a business owner say hey the cost is too much I finally I have to lay people off I don't think the economy is recovering um, so when that will be I don't know I you know I think maybe later this year you might see more of that maybe towards the end of the year I think just because of the situation of this cycle where you had a massive government intervention what should have been a recession during the you know the COVID area albeit it was a very short one but um obviously we, we delayed a lot of consequences to the massive money printing that entailed during that time to spike a whole bunch of demand with the consumers and now um we're gonna have to see there was a lot of investments made during that time period albeit a lot of bad ones as well and that will have to work its way through econo through the whole economy, the whole global economy. I mean, we'll have to see businesses fail. We'll have to see <laughs> a lot of things. I don't even know. But um, I think things will get interesting here pretty soon over the next 6 to 12 months. But um, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for listening to another ramble here. I hope you all have a good weekend, a good day. Take care. Goodbye.